Hey y'all, this is Stuart, KB1HQS. And uh, this video is all about field day. For those who aren't familiar with field day, uh, it happens every year in the last weekend in June, AWRL puts it on. And it's not a contest, all right? Just to be clear, it's not a contest, except it kind of really is. And uh, I don't really like field day. I know it's kind of strange considering I'm like really big into the outdoors and portable operating, but yeah. <laughs> I've operated years past, you know, just kind of here or there, but doing QRP single sideband, it's doable, but it's just so much interference and so many stations on top of each other that it just, I didn't really find it all that much fun. I mean, I guess if you dragged out a, you know, 400 foot tower out to a field and set up a tent with AC and, you know, 500 gigawatts of, of power, yeah, it would probably be pretty awesome. You'd be rocking some, rocking some uh, contacts there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Field day's funny because it's, uh, for me, every day is field day, except field day. Does that make any sense? I don't know. But the way I look at it, this is my opinion, and uh, be sure to tell me how wrong I am in the comments below. But in my opinion, field day should be no AC power, number one. Number two, you shouldn't be able to operate from home. Now, you could say, well, you could always have an emergency where you'd be operating from home. True. However, you operate from your home all the time, so how is that any different? So, by the fact you actually have to take your gear and take it out in the field, and you have to either, you know, solar, battery backup, etc., generator, whatever, to keep it all powered. In my opinion, that's the way it should be. And it should be on a weekend, say in June, like it is now, but they shouldn't tell you in advance, right? They give you like an hour in advance warning. So it's, you know, Maybe it's 2 a.m. On a, on a Saturday night on one of the weekends. Or maybe it's, one day, you know, I don't know, 9 in the morning on Sunday. Instead of having a couple days beforehand to set everything up. It should be like, oh, it's going to happen in an hour. So get your stuff, get going. I don't know. That's how I look at it. I'm a minimalist by nature. I like things simple. I don't like dragging a bunch of crap out in the woods or out to a field or a state park or whatever. So, I don't know. To each his own, I guess. That's the great thing about ham radio. So this field day, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set up an antenna that I've never set up before. Uh, it consists of, I don't know, maybe 16 feet of quarter inch tubing, a bunch of salt water, a bolt, a uh, binding post with an plug, and some radials. I'm going to make myself a vertical using salt water. We'll see how that works. I'm sure the KX3 will probably tune it because it's pretty awesome, but I don't think, uh, I don't know how well it'll work, but we'll see. And I'll probably just operate close to home, somewhere like Acadia National Park. Um, it's just right in the neighborhood, so I'll probably just set up here and see what happens. Thanks for watching, and 7-3.